What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of GTA Online and we're back with some more of the Tuners DLC and we are going to be checking out the latest edition. So uh, you guys know the Tuners DLC dropped a couple weeks ago. We started with 10 cars and I think we have 10 more on the way. So there were the original 10 and then we're getting a drip feed every week going forward and uh, this right here is the first drip feed car. This is the Feister Comet S2. And I honestly think this is the most beautiful car ever put into GTA Online. It is so fantastic. This is obviously based off a 911, a Porsche 911. But I, I just, I, the, the styling is so beautiful. The hips, the, the you know, tail lights, the, the everything about it. I, I've always thought 911s were just one of the most handsome, beautiful, pretty cars. Whatever you would call it, they're, they're just, they're, they're very, very good looking. And uh, now we have a, a very, very close replica of one here in GTA Online. So this is going to be awesome. I'm excited. You guys know the deal. We're going to take this thing out. We're going to take it to our garage. We're going to upgrade it. We're going to fix it up. We're going to see what we can do. Ooh, she feels, she feels a little weird. Maybe because the engine's in the back, so it's a little bit more back heavy. I'm not sure, but it, it definitely feels weird. We also have a weird angle going on. We are we are not we are not going the right direction at all. By the way, I'm just kind of getting a feel for the car. Go back this way. It might be a little bit quicker, but uh, yeah, man, it's 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 beautiful. It feels pretty good so far. A little bit, I, maybe lacking torque. I mean, it feels fast once you get going. It feels a, a bit slow to get going though. But uh, we'll we'll see what she's all about, especially when she's fully upgraded and uh, you know, of course, fixed up, make it look nice, and then race it. It should uh, should be pretty fun. So yeah. I think every week there's going to be a new car coming out. Actually, I, I believe I believe tomorrow might be the next drop. See, so we might we might have another episode coming out tomorrow. And then, of course, we have like another five cars or so that we haven't done yet. If you guys want to go through and do all of them, we, we definitely can. You know, obviously, some are more meant for racing. Some are more meant for drifting. I didn't know it, but I saw in your comments now you can get drift tires at the event. So you can, uh, you know, kind of fix up your, your car and do your thing. And then put drift tires on it and, and go throw some shapes, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, here we go. This is it. Here in our garage. I like the blue. We're sticking with our, our Skittles look here. We've got yellow, red, kind of a light blue, a green. I think we might stick with this nice natural blue color from the, uh, the car dealership. But uh, we're obviously going to make sure everything else looks a little bit better. Let's go ahead and start with liveries here, see if we were to do anything. Ooh, see like that looks pretty good right there. The white Feister stripe, the black one looks pretty good too. Ooh, oh, we've got like a Bape looking one, a full on, you know, racing livery there. See, some of these aren't aren't bad. I kind of feel like the Comet S, S2 on the side, you know, kind of rep the, rep the brand maybe. Start getting into the nitty gritty here. We're gonna have different bumpers we can work with. Ooh. So like I, I kind of like the stock. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm feeling like maybe we should mix it up a little bit. Performance bumper doesn't look bad. I like stock better though. We might go with the tuner bumper. Kind of black things out a bit. I'm gonna leave it stock, dude. I, I really like it. I think we can add on. Ooh, see, I like that you can see through there. We can definitely add on a. Um, ooh, that's pretty nice. SR spec rear bumper. I'm gonna go with that. Add on some splitters and diffusers and stuff, and that'll that'll change up the look of the front a little bit. Let's see what we've got going on for exhausts. Lots of different options. The turbo exhaust. Yep, gonna go with that. Fenders. Ooh, looking pretty nice there. Okay, what do you guys think? Carbon? Should we just go bolt-on? I'm gonna go bolt-on. Vents and over fenders just like that. Fog lights? Do we want any fog lights? Not gonna go with that. Not really what I'm looking for. Um, headlight covers. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Thing looks like a bug. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go with that. I feel like the beauty is the big, wide, trusting eyes of this thing. Hood, see what we've got going on. Obviously, gonna do some hood catches. Gonna go with the latch hood pins. Gonna do a custom hood as well. Maybe add some carbon fiber or something, or at least some sort of vents or something. To be honest, I kind of feel like that. I, I really, I like the simplicity. I really, really do. I mean, like this, this doesn't look bad. What do you guys like better, that or that? Actually, I think I'm, I think I'm my, I'm my this one a little bit better all right gonna go with that looks good to me horn not worried about interior dash whatever i mean i'm i'm not we're not really gonna be looking at the interior much do we want to do a roll cage 
Should we do a full reinforced full roll cage? Yeah, this is going to be a track car, baby. Front, back, and sides on the neon. Of course, we're going to be going with the blue. You guys already know what it is. Every single car in this series, we're going to put some neon on. Uh, livery we already did. Plates and respray, those already look good. Roof, what do we have going on for roof? Oh, we could have like a ski box. See, honestly, I think those are sick. I don't know if any of you guys watch Adam LZ, but he's got a 911 all black with the black like, you know, roof box on top. I, I think it's dope. Off to the track, packing rubber. I mean, obviously, stuff like this is, is pretty aggressive. I, I, I think it's cool. I'm not going to do it because I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like it, but I, I, I low-key kind of, kind of enjoy it there. Definitely going to go with the carbon roof. Can't even see it. Looking at the light right there. Okay, we're good to go. Side skirt, see what we've got going on. Hmm... I feel like we don't want to make it too crazy. To be honest, I kind of feel like the stock skirts look pretty good. Might go with something like the arrow here, but I, the stock has like the little indentation in it. I feel like it looks pretty good. All right, splitters, definitely going to do some splitters and canards here. Should we go with something like that? The endurance splitter, yeah, why not? Put some spoilers on the back. Oh, 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 retro SR wing and carbon blade. It's like an old school Porsche there. That's actually pretty sick. I, I might go for it just because it's so unique. Or we've got big like drag racing wings. Oh my God. What in the... <laughs> what is that? I'm going to do it. We, we got to do it. Do we like the double black? I'm going to go with the double black. Yeah, we're, we're going to do that. You want downforce? Yes. Definitely going to go with some big rims here. Mercy Chlip. Look pretty good, and then we're gonna be able to change the color to uh, to black. Ah, shoot! I really want I want all blacked out wheels here. I want big, skinny, like maybe maybe even something like that. Maybe a little bit little bit chunkier though. Or low key, low key. The lime green doesn't look that bad on this. Definitely gonna be going with some sort of a black. I'm gonna see what it looks like if we have a small blue tint, something like that. Olive green, interesting. Or even something like that actually looks looks decent. But we're gonna we're gonna be going with a, a some sort of a black or something. Any 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 type of black. Anthracite black looks good to me. Tire design. I'm not gonna put custom tires on it. Feel like that's a little bit too much. Of course, we're gonna put some bulletproof tires on there. We're gonna go with some blue tire smoke. And I believe ooh, we've got wind deflectors on this bad boy. That's interesting. Feel like the carbon makes it look a little bit more, a little bit more racy. So <laughs> that wing, that wing is something else. I might have to darken out these windows because I don't want people to see who who was that asinine to put a, a dining room table on the back like that. Okay, this is um, I mean it's it's beautiful apart from the wing, but we I mean we had to do the wing, <laughs> bro. We. We probably won't even be able to fit into a parking garage with this. I, <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a cool looking car. I would drive it. There is no doubt in my mind. I I would I would whip this thing around. Oh my god. What have you done, Trevor? Like honestly, man, what what is wrong with you here? That is one of the most titty. Oh, don't get hit by a bus. I I probably deserve it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it. I, you know what they say about guys with big wings? Um, bad taste. The beach front runner, baby. Here we go. Ooh. Looks like we've got a non-contact race happening. All right. So it's going to be all about how fast you can run a quarter mile. We've got a bunch of different ones in here. I have seen... I have seen from your guys, oh, no butts place, that's unfortunate. I've seen from your guys' comments, oh shoot, do we have a shortcut right there? I'm gonna skip it. Dude, that's the thing is I haven't played as consistently. Ooh, this thing is, is a little bit slippy, but we might be able to, we might be able to make it work. Those guys are coming out about the same time as us. I'm gonna try, it's, it's a bit slippy on the brakes. I'm wondering if we, see how are, we got this big of a wing. There's no way we should be spinning out like that just on a corner. It doesn't, it doesn't like the brakes and it doesn't like getting air. I'm wondering if we, if we just kind of let off the brakes or let off the gas and let it coast a bit into corners. That, that might be the play. Okay. Yeah. I, 
so many cars in this in this this DLC are are so drift inspired. I'm thinking we're gonna go back to the uh, go back to the drawing board, make a drift style car instead, and we'll take it back to the LS meet. But um, you know, get the the drift tires that we hadn't done before. Uh, you know, obviously, like the DLC came out two weeks ago. I rec oh my gosh, dude, this thing just slides like it's on ice. I've got race tires. I've got everything on it. I'm gonna take this shortcut up here. That's unfortunate for him. That that is just that is just terrible luck right there. Where are we at? We're in P3. Oh my god, dude. I I, I don't like it. I don't like it. You think? Oh, we're gonna overshoot it. You would think with the wing of this size and caliber, we would be gripping to the road. But it is, it is not, it is no bueno. Um, what was I saying? I, but, you know, obviously I, I kind of pre-recorded everything and then released videos a little bit later. You know, saved them up a couple days. Ooh, yes, yeah, he's slow is smooth and smooth is fast in this thing. But that's not really how you win races though, because you want to have a little bit of both. I did see that I, I kind of predicted it in our video. I said the, the Celica might be the sleeper pick like that that might be the thing that people use and apparently that's kind of the meta apparently the the calico gt or whatever it's called is uh is the fastest car so we're we're gonna start going right wide and not using the brakes here i think might be our our best idea okay dude it is it is tough I mean, you guys can see pretty much everyone's doing the same thing. A lot of the cars in this game just happen to be like that, but it, it's just, it's, it's tough, man. We're also not hitting any of the, uh, the shortcuts here. I feel like he might be a little bit quicker than us. Ooh. Gotta be careful about that air. Don't get yourself in trouble. Don't overcorrect. I'm gonna try going around. I didn't feel like. Oh, oh, oh! You, it's a, a sharp left. Okay, okay. I was gonna say I didn't feel like it was a big shortcut, but it's it's a it's a pretty solid shortcut. And I also didn't know what I was doing on the bottom side, so I should have I should have stayed with it. All right. Well, that's gonna end our race and put us in in P3. I would imagine. I'll let you guys know if we do better. But yeah, dude, this it's not very good. I wonder, do they have like grippier race tires available in the LS meet as well? I, I just, I, I feel like all the cars in this, this DLC, or at least like over 50% of them, just have no grip. Go ahead and take a P3 there. I'm not upset with the P3, but I, I, th I think it could have, it could have been better. I, I'm curious to see what cars finished where, like what models. Interesting, a lot of gestures being used. The Calico got, got fourth place. The only one out here in the Comet S2. I, I, I don't think the Comet S2 is meta. But I do think it is the most beautiful of, of the bunch. So I do actually think this thing might be... It, it kind of feels like it, it has the potential to be one of the better drift cars. Because it's it's not like the the RX-7 where it's it just sits and spins. Like it does have a tiny bit of grip. But you, you want some grip. You don't want it all to hang out. So I, I feel like if we put some some drifting tires on it and reduce the uh, the grip a little bit, it might actually react pretty well. Because it, it doesn't like the brakes. You guys can see how much it it slides when it's braking. I'm wondering if if it doesn't like the brakes like that on even slipperier tires, we might be able to get some uh, some drifting performance out of it. I mean, it's 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 pretty sick. It's it's a beautiful beautiful track vehicle right there i love it okay i'm not sure i haven't i haven't gone to the the thing here i'm assuming we want to get in our car and then vehicle options we're gonna go mod vehicle ah okay it's got a special mechanic out here let me see what we've got going on for wheels we're gonna go with tires enhancements standard grip or low grip tires so it's going to remove your traction right now we're on bulletproof so standard and bulletproof are the same but we can go with low grip here for 475 bucks beautiful Woo. okay yeah you don't ah uh, dude this this is what we've been missing you don't even need a break really i'm sure you can hit a little brake action probably just a little a little handbrake to toss it out there oh yeah okay so all those times we had the super slippery cars and we were wondering, ooh, 
It, I mean, this one's even still pretty tough to keep together, especially on those 90 turns. But we were wondering why we couldn't get it to slide enough. We were having trouble. It's because we were missing these tires. I'm curious how the RX-7 would handle on these things. It'd probably be spinning like a, a Beyblade. But yeah, this this is pretty cool. Okay. I I, I can't even imagine trying to racing these. these. That would be a, about the most frustrating thing. Dude, I've seen people doing tandem drifts. I've seen videos of people doing it with their friends and stuff. Just insane. I don't know how people are so good at it. Especially in GTA. Like, drifting is hard as is, but... I feel like it's extra hard here. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed a beautiful new Comet S2. One of the most beautiful vehicles ever made in this game. I do wish it had a bit more grip for racing, but uh, she, she looks the part. My oh my, she is gorgeous. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.